All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me and giving me the opportunity to present Eruzi and uh, the work that we are doing migrating from Fedora, from Fedora 3 to 6. Uh, this will be a 15 minutes presentation, uh, so it will be just a quick overview of our migration process, the issues that we are facing, and the topics on which we would be really happy to collaborate. Uh, the plan of this presentation is to first, uh, we'll present who we are, what we do, and how we currently use Fedora. I will then explain why we have decided to migrate to Fedora 6 and how we plan to integrate it in our stack. And then finally, I will talk about the different areas in which we would be uh, happy to collaborate. So what is Erudzi? Erudzi is a Canadian non-commercial inter-university consortium that operates an open scholarly publishing infrastructure. We are funded by the Canadian and Quebec government. We favor open access and the, all the software that we develop is open source. Uh, there are currently 347 journals as of today on the platform and almost 260,000 articles on the platform. We also publish some books and research reports and dissertation from 13 institutions. To uh, give you a quick overview of our stack and so you can see how we use Fedora and what, what, what is a place of Fedora in our stack, I'll give you just a quick presentation of it. I won't go in detail. Uh, and if you need any more information, just ask me at the end of the presentation or send me an email. I will I will gladly reply. So this is a, a, a super high level view of our infrastructure. Um, at Erudzi, the, the majority of the... Oh, I, I think I am... Do you still see the opening slide or are the slides... Yeah, it's just the title slide still. Just the title slide still? Okay. I will fix this. Sorry for this. Mm -hmm. Always fun when it's live. There we go. I mean, that those are okay. your next slides. There we go. Okay. So I will just change something. Okay. Sorry for this. Mm -hmm. So this is this is presentation. So this is the collections that we have. And now you should be able to see the... Yes. The, high level view of our infrastructure. Okay. That's right, you're good. Okay, thank you. So uh, at, at AVZ, the majority of the journals that we publish have a, a still a paper first workflow, meaning that they will provide us with uh, either Word, PDF, or InDesign documents. Uh, we will then convert those documents to uh, XML files using what we call our production chains. So these are the custom software, uh, that lets our team tag every every metadata element and any element of the body of the article. Each article, issue, and journal available on the, on the platform is stored as an XML document uh, with multiple data streams, auxiliary data streams in Fedora, and indexed in a Solar database. Uh, we will use these sources to display these the articles on the public platform on the public website, but we will also pu publish them as uh, various research data sets and reports. Uh, we also disseminate the articles on various platforms. We will register uh, persistent identifiers on, on Trustref, ORCID. Uh, we will do long-term preservations on the, of the articles on Portico. Uh, we will also push the articles on various link resolvers and catalogs that are used by uh, libraries such as OCLC, EBSCO, Xlibris, etc. And finally, we will also index uh, the articles on various indexers and aggregators such as Google Scholar, DOAG, OpenAir, Clarivate, PubMed. The AWZ portal is a, is a fairly standard Django project that's served by uh, and that's behind hand Nginx web server. It's using a PostgreSQL database, uh, Redis server for caching, and we are mostly using Fedora three as uh, as an object store. For our particular use case, Fedora three is still reliable. Uh, all the so as I said, all the articles, issues, and journals are are stored as objects in in Fedora three. Uh, we have multiple data stream for each object. For example, we store the XML and PDF of the article. We will store the cover page of the issue. 
the web portal will send anywhere between 30 or 60 requests per second to, to Fedora 3. And for us, that's good enough. That's good enough. We have a uh, good latency. Over the time, we, we faced some issues with Fedora 3, but since then, we've, we've patched a bug. We've built Docker files. We build deployment scripts for Fedora 3, and uh, it's working well. It's reliable. It's fast enough for us. We don't have to really think or worry about it. So one could ask what would be the, the, the major motivation uh, for migrating uh, from, a, from a reliable system like this. For us, the, the main reason is that for historical and cont contingent reasons that I won't be able to, to, to get into is that every type of content at Eagles is stored in different storage systems. So to, just to give you an idea, uh, the articles are stored in Fedora, but our books are stored in a Git repository on Drive, the teasers are directly indexed. And Solar, it, it, it's complicated. We don't have a uniform storage layer yet. And it's a major technical depth issue for us. We've been wanting to standardize our storage layer for a long time, but we know that uh, we we cannot just move everything to Fedora 3 since it's not supported anymore. So for us in, in our roadmap, if we want to eventually standardize our storage layer, we first have to replace our Fedora, Fedora 3 instance and, and, and upgrade it. After evaluating many options, we decided to, to use Fedora 6 and integrate it ourselves in our stack. It's because uh, our workflows are specific and we develop many custom tools to produce, index, uh, display, and disseminate our data. Uh, so we wanted a solution that's mostly a solid and reliable storage layer that will let us easily integrate our tools. Uh, so we plan on, on, on building custom tools around our Fedora uh, 6 implementation. We, 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 we compare the features of Fedora 3 uh, with the features of Fedora 6. Uh, we, and for example, unlike Fedora 3, um, Fedora 6 will not provide with advanced search out of the box, but will let you easily integrate with uh, your own using either Genfuski, Blaze Draft, Solar or another solution. So we evaluated all of our calls to the relation index search of Fedora 3 uh, and, and discovered that we were always doing the same simple searches. So such as returning the articles of an issue uh, or maybe or, or getting the issues of a journal. So instead of integrating with um, uh, an engine that let us perform generic requests such as Chinefuski, we, we decided to build our own simpler index and that would answer these specific queries. We also uh, decided on developing a, 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 an API that would handle business logic and use Fedora 6 as a, mostly as an interface to the OCFL repository. Just to give you an overview on what we plan uh, on doing, the uh, articles production chain that I mentioned earlier would send the articles to a production API that would be responsible on writing them to Fedora 6 and indexing uh, them in an auxiliary system. And Fedora 6 would be used as a, an interface to the uh, OCFL uh, storage. We are still evaluating whether we are going to use, uh, store sorry, do a clean disk or use an object store such as uh, MinIO, but that would be the, an overview of the system that we uh, are developing of our integration. The migration itself, itself will take place in, uh, in three major steps. The, the first phase of the migration for us will be to migrate all the journal issues and articles in, from Fedora 3 to Fedora 6 using the migration script and then keep both repos synchronized using the Fedora 3 messaging API. At the end of this phase, we want you to have a, um, a Fedora 6 uh, instance that's updated in real time and that is a perfect replica uh, of our Fedora 3 instance. Once we have this, we will go on to the second phase of the migration and we will migrate all, all applications that reads 
on uh, transfer renos that are three. So, so the, 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 the main application is the portal, but we have some other application that we don't are three as well. Uh, our The goal of this phase is to ensure that no application is dependent on the Fedora 3 data. We want to be sure that nothing uh, that nothing reads from Fedora 3, every, all the applications read in Fedora 6, because once we have the assurance that no application is relying on Fedora 3, we can start the last phase of our migration uh, process, which is migrating all the tools that write uh, to Fedora 3, migrate them to Fedora 6. Uh, we don't plan on uh, synchronizing the data from Fedora 6 to Fedora 3. So it's important that all the tools read directly on Fedora 6 to be sure that uh, they are getting accurate and complete data. Once those phases are done, we will consider our migration to be complete, and then we will be able to migrate all the content that is currently in a different storage layers, such as book, thesis, and research reports. And then we will be able to uh, start further projects, such as improving search experience or upgrading search engine, etc. When we do this, we will be really happy to collaborate further with the community. In the short term, we will be maybe looking to modify the uh, migration script and uh, so that it, 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 it can write the, uh, our own models. We will be reaching out on Slack for guidance on this or, and to see how we could propose a, a pull request that could be uh, accepted and merged. Uh, but in the long term, we are really looking forward to collaborate with any other uh, Python developers who, who integrate with Fedora or maybe work on Fedora clients. Uh, we will also be performing uh, performance tests on, on reading to Fedora 6. We will be measuring every request that the, the, the portal is doing on Fedora 6. And so measuring the, the, lat the latency of these requests and we will gladly share this information uh, with anyone who is uh, interested. So, so that's it. Thank you very much. Um, if you have any question, uh, you can you can ask now, or you please email me about this or the work that we do at Deloitte. If you have uh, any question, I'm also available on the on the Fedora Slack. Awesome. Thank you, David. We do have a few minutes for questions. So, if anybody has anything. Here. If not, like I said, you you actually uh, put like a an idea in my brain of potentially there's an opportunity if you were looking to connect with other Python developers who have worked with Fedora, maybe we can even open up a Slack channel, uh, and and you can, you know, take the conversation over there, um, in the Fedora workspace if you wanted. Yes, that would be that would be really appreciated. 